Alrighty, well hello there. Here we have a full moon rising. A few weeks prior to Halloween, but we get it when she comes around. <laughs> anyway, today is, I think it's Wednesday, October 19th, 2021. And it's now 7.14 p.m. over here in northeastern Ohio. And I didn't think the moon would be up above the horizon by now, but apparently it is. It's right there. <laughs> and it looks like some clouds or something are going over top of it. Figures. There are blue skies everywhere except right there. that's cool we get a bit of a spooky moon then we've had much better though spooky ones I mean and we're not going to spend a lot of time over here and we're not going to go in any further because it just looks so dull and flat when we uh, zoom in on a full moon but instead we're going to try to get the uh, planets of Jupiter and Saturn while we're out here. But before I move all these rigs around so we can get the uh, planets, I'll insert a video showing the setup we have. And we have the Canon RA camera with the uh, Canon 50mm f1.4 lens over there for the wide field of view and for the zoom footage. The Canon R with the RF 800 lens and 2x extender. And that full disc there of the moon is 1600 millimeters. Anyway, let me move us around and try to get the planets. Jupiter's still kind of blocked, but I'll try to maneuver around. Alrighty, and there we go with an overexposed Jupiter and four of its moon planets. But we'll change up and try to get the planet itself in. Alrighty, there we go. It's um, hard to tell how well it's coming in while we're out here, but about crossing our fingers anyway. Doesn't appear to have the uh, great red spot tonight. Must be on the other side. Alrighty, and from here, let's try to head over to Saturn. I can't see it by eye, so hopefully the telescope mount can take us over to it. Alrighty, and there we go. I've missed seeing it. The last time we were out, it was kind of buried behind a tree. Actually, on the one camera, which was set up in a different spot, the Saturn was showing, but I didn't know it at the time because I couldn't see that monitor when I was out here. But there she be in all her ring glory. My goodness, that is such an amazing planet. Now I'm not sure how well the uh, stacking process will come out and for those unaware that means uh, taking a short video clip and then stacking all those frames together to try to help bring out more detail into a single photo. We shall see. I haven't been too happy with the uh, latest ones I've been getting, but, but I did move the other camera off the moon and so we can see the wide field of view with the two planets and we can see how far spread apart they are of Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter be the one close to the tree, the willow tree. And then uh, almost a straight line across will be Saturn with a whole bunch of stars. I think of, um, I think they're in Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. Last year they were mainly in uh, Sagittarius. Let me look here on the Sky Safari Pro app. Yes, I do believe the uh, stars that are shown up on that video over there are stars in Capricornus. It's so weird because 
as most of you know, Saturn was on the uh, left side of Jupiter last year. And they did a leapfrog, and now Jupiter's out ahead. I'm sorry, Saturn's out ahead. And they were mainly in Sagittarius, but not now. They've fallen behind to another constellation. Now, it's a shame I can't see anything else out here in my light polluted sky, but <laughs> the Lagoon Nebula would be off to the right of uh, Saturn somewhere. I tried to get photos last night, but they came out pretty crappy, so I doubt I'll even share it, but Anyway, that's going to do it. On this pre-Halloween full moon night. With two of our amazing planets showing up here. <laughs> Alright, so y'all take care. It's now 7.40 p.m. up here. Bye now. There be the moon, over there somewhere, amongst the tree branches. <laughs> I'm not sure what the weather is in your part of the country, or the world, but uh, it's getting quite cool here. A very nippy at night now. <laughs> I think it got down to the, uh, about 40 degrees this morning, last night. So I am not looking forward to winter, that is for sure. <laughs> I have my winter socks on at the moment. Ah, <laughs> oh, my battery's almost out, so we're gonna wrap this up. <laughs>